Hello, this is uh, Arlen Sloop with my uh, reflection for this week. Um, I just wanted to go ahead and uh, I guess I go ahead and dive in. Um, this week I was interested uh, because Google, um, like stated in the paragraph in the introduction, that um, a lot of people know what Google is, um, just search engine. Um, now they got the Google Fiber locally here in Kansas City, and so now they're you know do, you think oh well they're doing more things and they're expanding but um, in fact they've actually done a lot more than just Gmail and, and and just being a search engine and they have a lot more options um, I guess in my early experience with it is I've noticed uh, that they're adding more and more things like on the email that you can make phone calls or different things just through using your email and and how your email address can be used to access or use your information for um, other websites and it's Interesting that way. Um, also, how it had Messenger um, kind of built in without having to download any extra things, um, kind of like AIM or, or something like that in the past. Um, so I, I, I've just dabbled in it a little bit um, before this week, um, and I kind of got a little more understanding about a few a few more things. So I'll go ahead and dive in here. Um, so in the classroom, um, um, one of the um, one of the lessons we we went through and watched, um, we kind of learned more about the Hangouts, um, or how Google Google Hangouts and how that can be utilized in a classroom setting, um, you know, for group projects and stuff like that, and how people can uh, communicate that way. Um, also through, uh, we learned more about Gmail and what it has to offer, and kind of the different sites that it has to offer as well. Um, Google Drive and how to create documents, um, how to collaborate with those documents, um, and how class works with the docs and the drives, and how you can make that work um, really in any setting. Um, the cool part that I found um, most 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 interesting was the fact that um, you're able to that, that they have multiple different things. Kind of like if you have a Chinese student or a Hispanic student in your classroom and you know predominantly you, or you speak English and you don't speak any other language well Google has option that you could actually have a translation feature um, to be able to communicate to the di diver in a di yeah, sorry a diverse audience um, so and it and you can do that in real time they can do that um, as an assignment um, and the kid or student would be able to go ahead and be on their computer and be able to um, understand what you're saying and what your what your assignment is and, and everything in their own language and so they can better understand you and better um, figure that out so um, it's uh, um, I kind of typed a few notes sorry <laughs> I look like I'm reading um, I, I I'd like to j just kind of go into the value of what that brings to a classroom um, kind of what Google and um, the Google Drives Google Documents Google like uh, spreadsheets, all those, um, what they bring. Um, what it does is it's um, so great because it uses the cloud um, for the most part and to where you can, no matter if you have Word on a computer or something, that you can still create a document a document that um, your teacher can accept and, and that all students would be able to have that same version um, because it doesn't cost any money. It just You just need a Gmail account. So it is something, it's a learning curve if you're used to always using Word. Um, it is different to, to be on a on Google Documents because it feels like you're on the Internet um, instead of like on a program on the computer that's not attached to the Internet. Um, so it is different. Um, it is um, something that you do need Internet for. So, But nowadays it's kind of readily available just about anywhere, Walmart, Starbucks, home, school, library you know you can find the internet just about anywhere or mobile devices um, so it's kind of hard to be away from it so that can be good or bad um, in your opinion but um, kind of my experiences um, my previous job um, how we did our uh, scheduling is um, I, they would schedule me for certain time slots and um, the front desk would and I would go meet with people for those times um, and I had a whole you know, we, we used, uh, this was an Excel document that they filled in uh, the information. I had my gaps and they filled in the information where they can um, 
plug in the uh, my clients that I meet with. Um, that was really cool because I, it would happen in real time. So if somebody went in and up and put in an appointment right now for me, I could go ahead and click on um, go get onto the Google uh, Drive and be able to check to see if anything's been added just recently um, or five seconds ago. Um, so I know who I have tomorrow or if there's any cancellations, anything new. So it's really kind of cool how it's been used that way where um, that I'm able to access that wherever I'm at on my phone, anywhere, um, and I'm able to um, keep up to date with that. And it's just cool because it's a free service and it's something that as people learn it and get more comfortable with it and are okay with it, um, it's going to be much more effective. I think I'm still in the period where I, I like to stick with Word or Excel and, and just stick with the document that's, or the program that's on my computer because I know it and I, you know, I'm just confident with it. But I think as we venture out and do this Google Drive that um, and learn how to do it on a cloud-based setting, that it would, um, it's a lot more interactive and a lot, there's a lot more possibilities with that. So, and it's quicker to share and, and, and easy for other people to view. Um, and you don't run into problems with different versions of Word or, the, you know, not, or um, types of lettering um, that you may have that you really like. And then you send it to somebody else and their, um, t their version doesn't support that. So now they have a basic lettering and it looks like a basic document now. And maybe, maybe you put a lot of time in it. So that's just kind of a simple version. Um, last year I did a PowerPoint using, um, using Google and it was, uh, it was a lot different, not, not using, uh, Word. Um, and actually at that time I just bought a new Mac, um, computer and I didn't have Word. Um, uh, I didn't have Excel, I didn't have PowerPoint. And so it was, I was nervous at first. I was like, oh crap, I can't do anything. But, um, but I found, um, that Google had it, um, and it was a version of it. It was a lot different to me. Um, it, you know, I wasn't used to where things were and how to do things. So it did take me a while to go ahead and, and figure out the transitions and figure out how to uh, do something just as basic as viewing the presentation just to kind of see where I'm at. So there's some there's a lot of learning um, involved, but it was also free and it was also um, it got simpler and simpler as we went, and the teacher was able to accept it, and I got the assignment done. So that's, you know, if, if it can avoid you paying 150 bucks for Word, Microsoft, you know, Microsoft Word and all that stuff, it's kind of, I, to me, it's worth it because not everybody has that kind of money just sitting around. Um, just growing up, we've always had Word, so I kind of take it for granted. So now when I buy a computer, you know, I, I don't really feel like spending extra money on on a, a word because it almost feels like it should be there automatically but with Google it is it is there and it's available and there's a couple other open um, source options kind of like Oracle um, that you can you can do as well and get comfortable with also but that's not really a cloud-based uh, program it's more like a word but free um, so Excel um, <clears throat> I've used Excel uh, with the words uh, with with Google um, and I, I found it really uh, helpful for me to do that with my concession business. Um, what I'm able to do is uh, make a spreadsheet and um, allow the, uh, as things get sold, um, we do an inventory halfway through the, the day or the night or the, the time, and we're able to update that. And I'm able to see that from my computer, phone, iPad, anywhere um, and see where they're uh, at at that time with their inventory, uh, sales, and ha how things are going, anything that's wasted, or um, and I also are able to put notes in there too. So I've also found that the Excel um, can be very useful in a, not only a business, but it also um, it really puts things out cleanly, so you're able to teach somebody possibly business, and, that, and that's what my my goal is in the future with my degree is to be able to teach business and be able to. Uh, teach people how to um, use technology to be able to help make sure your accounting and your uh, sales are in check and so and you know and even more than that but but that's you know I, I'd like people to understand technology to the point and understand what what they have available to them like Google um, and all their applications that 
you can have for free um, and that you can have on any device and so therefore no matter what you're on you can work on it you can add to it you can take away from it or you can just view it um, and you're, it's a seamless thing so it works great for business it works great in schools it works great um, as an employee myself and so it's really been interesting um, this year has been the this year and last semester were about the first times I've ever experienced it and really used it um, but I haven't really dove into it um, that much this week I have learned a whole lot more probably double what I've ever knew known about it um, and also played with it a little bit um, here a few days ago I spent about an hour just kind of diving into it and trying to figure out what little things are different and what I can um, compare with Word. So, well, that's my reflection for the week. Um, I had a really good time kind of learning more about it. Um, this is, there's a lot of information that we can um, learn and a lot of, a lot of options available to us um, that we can use to better improve our teaching, better improve our um, our job is doing a stu as a student um, in college now trying to pass and we um, we have the option to use those for free and Google has made that possible so I'll stop going around in circles sorry I feel like if, as if I'm doing that I'm pretty excited about it um, there's just a lot to know and a lot to learn it's kind of how um, it's kind of how technology is every time something new comes out um, it's kind of a new and great thing, and, and kind of right now Google's doing a lot of big things. So it's something definitely that more people should take a look at and um, take and put in use in their in their own homes and businesses and in their schools. So have a good day. I appreciate it, and thank you for watching. Thanks.